controversy is swirling around Chicago City Treasurer Melissa Conyers Irving. It involves charges she's repeatedly used city employees and resources for her personal benefit. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Koslov explains how the charges were all laid out in black and white. A celebration among those pushing to eliminate the sub-minimum wage for restaurant servers as their ordinance moves to a new city council committee. Among those absent, though, city treasurer Melissa Conyers Irvin, despite being touted as a feature speaker in news releases earlier this week. Where is the city treasurer today? She was supposed to be here. Yes, our treasurer is out of town, but she is a champion, and she will continue to remind everyone that she is a champion of one fair wage. Out of town one day after the Chicago Tribune published this letter written by a Chicago attorney on behalf of two of the treasurer's former employees, alleging Conyers Irvin engaged in widespread ethics violations. Violations. And when these former employees spoke out about their concerns, she fired them. Do you think it has anything to do with the Tribune story from yesterday about the past allegations of ethics violations in her office? No, absolutely not. The treasurer was scheduled to be out of town way before that publication. The December 2020 letter was sent to the city's top lawyer and city's ethics officer. In it, the terminated employees accused Conyers Irvin of consistently misusing city money, city employees, and city resources to benefit her private interests. Examples cited in the letter include hiring an ex-Chicago police officer as assistant city treasurer, but actually using him as security, and hiring an administrative assistant and then using her to run errands and grocery shops on the clock. All the person Irvin. 28th Ward Alderman Jason Irvin, the treasurer's husband, was not at a council committee meeting, so we couldn't ask him questions. And in a statement Tuesday, Conyers Irvin says the city settled with those fired employees and she can't discuss specifics. Conyers states she has never and would ever abuse or misuse taxpayer dollars. Conyers Irvin, by the way, is poised to challenge longtime Congressman Danny Davis for his congressional seat. In her statement, the treasurer says the city settled with the former employees in the most cost-effective manner for taxpayers. I reached out to the attorney who wrote the letter for additional information, but have not heard back. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Joe. Dana, thank you.